there's a small chance that this video might upset some people. Now I want to start this video out just by saying, first of all, that there's probably not a whole lot of people out there that love the drums more than I do. All right? There's a lot of different aspects to playing the drums and making them sound good that we all have to get really good at. But for some reason, especially out here in YouTube land, a lot of these things are being made out to be way more complicated than they need to be. And as a result, a lot of y'all are just really overthinking a lot of this stuff when you don't really have to. Now, I've been in this game over 30 years. You can take my word for it or not. It's up to you. If you want to continue watching this video because you just want to be entertained, that's cool too. But today, man, I'm going to give you five, my top five things that you really need to stop overthinking. Now, I may offend some people in the process if that happens. My apologies. My advice to you would just be don't overthink it. Now, if you've been with this channel long enough, you know what this first one's going to be. All right? So everyone out there, say it with me on three. One, two, three. Tuning. Stop overthinking tuning. All right? Now, I don't want to blame anyone out there because, I mean, quite frankly, there's a lot of videos out here that will lead you to believe that you need seven to ten hours of free time and a physics degree to get your kit to sound good, and it's just not true. Getting your drums to sound good is really easy, and I have three videos that I can show you to prove it. I got one on kick, one on snare, one on toms. A lot of y'all have already seen it, and you know how easy it is. So in these videos, after just showing you how simple it is to get your toms to sound good, I still get comments in the comment section asking, 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 how many pounds per square inch do I put on the floor tom? How hard should I press? How many turns should I do? Should I go star pattern? To stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're thinking way too hard, man. Just watch the video, follow the instruction and you'll get your tom sounding good in, I swear, 20 seconds. Now, if you feel like doing it the long way, feel free. It still works. I'm just saying there are shorter ways to do it. There are less nerve-wracking ways to do it. The end goal is exactly the same. It's going to sound just as good, so why not? So I'll leave the links to all of these tuning videos. Actually, I have a playlist, so I'll leave the link for um, my tuning playlist in the description box. And you can see for yourself, if you've been overthinking tuning your drums this entire time, watch these videos and just stop it. It's just not necessary. Now, the second thing that I want a lot of y'all to stop overthinking is practice time. All right, now this is more specifically for my beginner and sort of lower intermediate drummers. Over the years, I've gotten a lot of emails, a lot of comments asking, you know, how long should I work on this? Or what should I work on today? Or how should I split this up or split that up? I know you're just trying to manage your time, and that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. But stop overthinking it, all right? There's no need to say, I'm going to do this for 15 minutes and then do this for 15 minutes or any of that stuff. The only thing that you need to know is that every single you know, particular skill that you're trying to work on is going to require an investment of time. The more time you put into that one thing, the faster you're going to reach success with it. That's really all you need to know. Do, listen, whatever you feel like doing that day, just do it. If you feel like doing paradiddles for two hours, then do paradiddles for two hours. If you feel like working on your coordination and focusing on that for two weeks straight, do that. It's okay. The thing is, it's all going to get done eventually, right? So don't think too hard over how long you should do this or how long you should do that. The thing about practicing is the more fun you have with it, the more success you're going to have with it. 
The reason why that is, is that, you know, the more fun you have with it, the longer you're going to want to do it. I didn't do any exercises for my first three years of playing. All I did was play along the records. And when I finally started getting down and, and doing some exercises on the kit, I would just pick something that I felt like doing that day, and I would do it until I didn't feel like doing it anymore. Now, if you're the type of person that works better with a schedule or with a regimen, that's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I just don't want you to overthink how long you have to do this or how long you have to do that. Don't worry about all that stuff. Just get down there, work on whatever you feel like working on that day, and just keep doing it until you get good at it. Now, if you're in the process of shopping for your second kit, this is your upgrade from your beginner kit. You've been playing for a couple of years and you're looking for something new. One thing that I want you to not overthink, shell material. This is something that used to get me all the time when I was working at a music store. We get cats walking in saying, I have to get birch, I have to get maple, or it has to be this, or it has to be that. Listen, I can tell you straight up, especially in that phase of your playing career, it does not matter. Don't let wood type be your deciding factor. If you're sitting there, humming and hawing, over a couple of sets of drums and you're wondering if you should get this or if you should get that, stop overthinking it. When you get them home and you hit it with a stick, they're gonna sound like drums. Now, is there a difference between birch, maple, mahogany, ash, whatever? Okay, I mean, I can tell you what the differences are between maple and birch. Can I hear it? No. And even if I could hear it, does it matter? No. Quite frankly, the heads that you put on the kit is going to make a lot more difference than the type of wood that's in the shell. Don't think that one type of wood is going to sound so dramatically different than another one, and let that be your deciding factor when you're shopping for drums. Pick a kit that you're going to like to look at every single day. Don't let companies oversell you on the wood. It just doesn't really make that much of a difference. I mean, you get a lot of companies out here saying, yeah, you know, we added two and a half plies of Albanian unicorn wood in between these two plies of, of birch, just to add that nice fundamental of it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. This is your fault. This is part of the problem. You know daggone well that once you get the mics on those drums, it's really not gonna matter. What matters is what head you have on them, and how you tune them, and how you hit them. Now, to be quite honest, you'll hear the difference a lot more in snare drums than you will in toms. So if you're shopping for a snare, I'm going to say maybe that's somewhat of an exception to, um, to what I'm saying here. But when you're shopping for drums, man, especially for your second kit, you're still learning how to play. Don't let the wood type be the deciding factor. Now, the fourth thing that I really don't want y'all to let give you too much of a headache, and this is more so for anyone that's getting into recording drums at home, mic placement. There's a lot of really super specific instruction here on YouTube about mic placement. You know, and they got you measuring from here to here, and then from there to there, and then from here to here. I mean, you can spend half a day doing that if you want to. Um, but I don't want that type of stuff to convince you that your drums don't sound good. The best way to learn how to mic your kit, honestly, is just trial and error. If you got your first set of mics, get them home, you know, your drums are set up in your spot, just throw the mics on the kit and record some stuff and listen back to it. Don't get too caught up in, you know, frequencies and dbs and all that type of stuff at least not in the beginning i mean i gotta be honest the reason why i don't have any mixing tutorials here in the channel or like mic placement tutorials or anything like that is because i really don't know what i'm doing i mean at least not in the you know professional respect like i just said i just throw my mics on my drums and i start playing them i know what my kit sounds like so i just do some recording if they sound like my drums on the playback they're mic'd. 
Now, I would definitely encourage anyone out there to watch a lot of these miking tutorials because they are, in fact, super helpful. But I'm just saying, if you're going through a whole bunch of headaches and um, you know, you're having trouble getting your overhead sounding good or how far you should place them from this or that or whatever, don't, just don't overthink it. Put your mics on your stands and just start messing around with different placement around the kit. The best thing to keep in mind when we're talking about mics on your drums is that each one of these little things is like an ear, right? There's just a whole set of ears on your drums. So you just want to take in each individual one and point it to whatever you want it to hear. If you ever aspire to get a job as a professional engineer, then you can start to worry about the science part of it. But as far as micing your drums in your house, just have fun. Make sure your kit is tuned nice. Make sure you know how to hit it. And then just throw the mics on it and see what they sound like. And the fifth and final thing, at least in this video, that I'm gonna urge you to stop overthinking is your progress, all right? This is especially for anyone that's still within their first five or even five to 10 years of playing. Don't put a time limit or any kind of restrictions or expectations on your progress. Don't worry about how long is it gonna take me to learn this or how long is it gonna take me to you know, develop this technique or whatever. Just enjoy the process, enjoy the small victories that happen along the way. Because the truth is, this is a lifelong thing, right? Masters stay masters because they're always students. The greatest drummers in the world are still learning stuff every single day. So don't worry about it. Don't, don't put any thought into how long this or how long that. Just enjoy the process of learning. Like I said, there's gonna be a ton of small victories along the way. You're always gonna be learning new stuff, learning new stuff, getting excited about new stuff. Just enjoy that whole process. You will never, ever, ever run out of stuff to learn for as long as you play. So why worry about it? The only thing that's gonna stop you from becoming a master is if you quit. So just stop overthinking how long it's gonna take you to get good and just fall in love with the process. So I think this is a pretty cool conversation and I wanna know what you think. So drop a comment below if you have anything that you think drummers should just stop overthinking, just drop it in the comments and let's talk. Just keep it civil, you know what I mean? Keep it respectful. I know I got one of the most positive channels on the entire YouTube, so I'm not gonna to worry too much about that. But join in on the conversation, let us know what you think. So if you've had your eye on this hoodie the entire time you were watching this video, guess what? You can get one. This is a beatdown exclusive, man. This is in my merch shop. This comes in four colors. So I'm rocking the blue today. This also comes in red, gray, and black. And they're all dope. I'm getting all the colors. So link to the shop will be in the description. Make sure you head on over there. Grab yourself something for the fall. Every time you pick up a piece of merch, you're supporting this channel, which is highly appreciated. So new viewers, new subscribers, Welcome, this is what we do here. We have a lot of fun, we talk about stuff, I'll show you some stuff, it's good. Stick around, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Subscribe button right there. If you didn't already hit that, mash that before you bounce. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you share it if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.